Hi Taurus, welcome back. This is going to be your spiritual tarot reading and we're going to go ahead and get straight into it. So Taurus, when I was meditating on the collective energy, oh man, I the energy kind of felt very soothing to me, but I also was getting a song by uh, Andra Day, Amen, which is a beautiful, beautiful song. If you aren't familiar, check it out. But she says, Amen to all those that have hurt me because you made me who I am. Um, it's a song about gratitude. It's about finding the appreciation for spiritual growth. And it's just, it's an absolutely touching song. I, I like literally cry every time I hear it. <laughs> like I'm getting emotional now. But it's like Source is wanting you to give appreciation for the journey and even for the people that maybe even made it difficult for you because it actually made you uh, stronger and more resilient and a better person and it also gave you further clarification about what you want and who you are and where you're headed and so there's a turning point here Taurus and it's all about finding that uh, appreciation right that clarity coming in and it also giving you some sort of release as when I was meditating I almost kind of felt like uh, falling asleep there so I I do feel like there might be, you might have had like a lot on your plate or a, holding a lot of resistance in your energy, but then first of all, a good night's sleep or a good meditation will get that off, no problem. But I, I just feel like this energy coming in of like relief or release around that. So you have the 12th house of surrender out, um, Piscean energy for some of you, but this is talking about letting go. Um... It also talks, though, about uh, karma, forgiveness, your dream state, spirituality, um, letting go of baggage. Yes, that's what I was feeling. There's like There might have been something that was weighing on you energetically that was creating like some sort of heaviness, which, which again, certainly meditation would help um, raise that off of you, um, Taurus. So, and I'm getting like a forgetfulness here as well. Some of you might have noticed like a, you've been a bit forgetful lately or a little bit absent-minded. And um, it may just be because, again, there could have been a lot of like mental stimulation going on. And again, you could benefit from spending some time each morning and or each night or both meditating and just sitting in silence for 10 to 15 minutes. Um, and then getting some good sleep, right? I feel like some of you really need some good sleep. So you have three cards out. You have the Four of Cups, the Knight of Pentacles, and the Knight of Swords. This, this, cor, 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 sorry. <laughs> this card combination, that reminds me of like the Walking Dead. Sorry, side note. But in the Walking Dead, when he yells at his son, he always goes, Coral. He never says Carl. He says Coral. If you don't know the Walking Dead, you don't know what I'm talking about. But <laughs> so random. Sorry. ADD. Some of you might relate to that movie. I don't know. Anyways, these three card combinations <laughs> to me is like, it's like settling your differences with someone, okay, as opposed to creating more drama or as opposed to needing to explain yourself, right? So if there is like this dramatic energy or has been this dramatic energy around you, the way to get away from that is to detach and kind of become indifferent about it. And just, I heard be the bigger person for some of you, you may need to do that, but it's just like, yeah, settling your differences so this might be a good time to settle any differences that you have with someone unless you think it's going to cause more drama if you do that now if you know you're dealing with someone who does not have the mental maturity or capacity to hear you out that's what spirit is saying it's better just to detach and kind of go your own way um however if you do think that it it's worth a discussion then this might be a good time to have it although I think a lot of you might be dealing with a situation or a person where it's probably best to just let it go and go your own way because there is some drama that wants to come in here and I don't feel this is you. I feel like this is someone outside of you that 
could bring drama into your life if you allow it. So just something to be aware of. So you've got the Three of Swords, the Seven of Swords, the Three of Cups. And this is what's falling in the Psyche. Okay. So, yes, it's like there's something here that's that's weighing on your mind. Like, do I want to reconcile that or not? And having a little bit of confusion, feeling like you're being pulled in two different directions. This could be a situation, again, where... There might have been something you were you were holding onto about this, or maybe even drama or heartache surrounding this. I feel this is past energy, but it's still weighing on your mind or in your energy to some degree. So it's like, well, what do I want to do about that? And again, I feel like you need to feel the situation out, Taurus, but I feel like for the most part, at least right now, the message is to, de to detach from it as opposed to hit it head on. Because there's just like, hmm, you might be inviting an energy in that's really going to disrupt your peace if you go in that direction, right? But again, I'm not someone who's going to tell you what to do. I'm not that kind of reader. I'm just telling you that it feels to me that if you were to open the door, you know, on something that has hurt you with the hopes of maybe discussing it as adults that it would actually just invite more drama and disturb your peace. And so I feel, you know, a part of you wants to go in that direction, but a part of you knows better and they're actually guiding you to go towards the part of you that knows better. But again, you have free will, so do whatever you want. Um, I can see there's a lot of contemplation about this, right? And this could also be how someone feels about you, FYI. But take it as it resonates. Let's see what's going on in the emotional space. The song is so playing. You know, sometimes we get to a point in our lives where, this is for my spiritually grown folk. Okay, and I know I've got a lot of you that tune in. We get a point, we get to a point in our lives, right, where we understand that other people's actions towards us have really very little to do with us and a whole lot to do with their own suffering, with their own lessons. And um, when you get to that point, you don't really hold anyone to the fire anymore because you understand that we're all human and we're all just finding our way. However, when you get to that point in your life, and a lot of you are there right now, it's easy to then want to be the bigger person and extend that olive branch because you know that person's not going to do it. And while that's good that you've reached that point in your life where you're able to see, you know, other people not as threats, but as people who are uh, hurting um, and not really knowing how to handle that. It's like you want to offer that helping hand to them, but sometimes, and so by doing that, you also invite their drama into your life. And so Spirit is saying, it is not unloving or unkind of you to have healthy boundaries. You can understand someone's plight without playing a role in it or without inviting that into your life. And it's okay, right? It's okay to understand someone without necessarily extending yourself towards them. And to be discerning, especially during this time frame. Alright? Because I keep getting that song. Amen. All the ones who have hurt me, I am stronger because of them. Amen. It's a deep reading. <laughs> okay. So you've got the High Priestess, the Princess of Cups, the Queen of Wands, the Four of Discs, and Judgment here. Yes, I keep getting this message about, you know... Listen to your judgment. Listen to your discernment, okay? Uh, there's stability here. There's creativity coming up in the energy. There is um, 
like this opportunity to begin something new as well, whether that's in creative pursuits or relationship, follow your guidance, listen to your heart, right? Because your mind kind of plays tricks on you sometimes. Your mind will have you look in every which di di different... Can I talk today? Every... <laughs> your mind will have you look in all kinds of different directions. Because we're very analytical as people, as human beings. We are just, we just love to analyze, okay? And make judgments about and um, come to conclusions about other people in our life. But see, the mind is tricky like that. Sometimes it can be a battlefield. So that's why it's important to listen to your emotions and your intuition. How do you feel about that? Because your emotions are your guidance. Your emotions will let you know, right, what's for you and what's not for you based on the way that you feel. And so it's really important to listen to your intuition, okay, because it knows better and you know better. Um, and, and redirect your focus too towards the things that are coming in. So yes, there's something here to be surrendered or let go of, but there's also, um, uh, something coming in and it could be in the form of new connections or friendships, uh, but definitely feeling more creative, feeling more energy, more gratitude as well. Um, and stability here, as long as you make the right decision. So what is the higher spiritual picture then for you, Taurus? Knight of Discs. The Justice card, the Knight of Swords. So <laughs> this is interesting. This kind of reminds me of Leo's reading as well. If you have Leo in your chart, check out uh, their reading as it comes out. So Justice card, Knight of Swords, Knight of Discs. Yeah. And as I say that, I have the Five of Wands here. The Star and the Ace of Discs. So it's like this. If you try to play the role of karma, karma is going to attach to you as well. So it's never our job to play the role of karma, even when we feel justified in it, because the universe already has it taken care of. And also, anytime you try to play the role of karma, you tie yourself to that karma. It is just a law of attraction fact. It might be tempting to be like, you know... Um, well, I want to, um, do that, but you're being called, I guess, in a different direction right now and to trust a little bit more to let this drama go or this person or place that creates drama in your life and kind of almost be indifferent about it. You know, let bygones be bygones. If, if somebody's coming to you and they've got a lot to say, it might be best to just be like, okay, you're right you know, and let it go, uh, you know, like diffuse a situation, right? Um, it's going to work in your favor to diffuse the energy, but not to feed it. Because honestly, there's something here that might have been slow in coming. Um, but there is like the Ace of Pentacles to me is something tangible, something real coming into fruition that provides you a greater sense of worth, a greater sense of stability. Um, this could be healing energy coming in or connected to an Aquarian, but it's, it's just like the, oh, Taurus, this is so good. Like this is going to make you so happy. It could even feel like a hope or a wish coming true. Like uh, something that you've had a lot of hope tied around to becoming a tangible reality. It might have taken a long time to come into fruition. You might have been tempted to play karma in this situation to like hurry it along. But I feel like most of you did stick to the tried and true path and there's like a huge payoff here. But you have free will. So some of you might go in the direction of... Well, entertaining the drama and flaming, flaming, what is that? Is that fire burn? Just, anyway, some of you might go towards, um, you know, the more aggressive approach, which is going to lead to conflict, absolutely, and like this competitive type of energy and kind of pull you away from this really beautiful blessing that wants to come through. So, 
you know, life always gives us choices and it's up to us how we want to uh, behave and how we want to maintain ourselves in any situation and neither are right or wrong, right? Because no matter what, you will get something out of a situation that you need to learn about self. But there's an easier way here. And again, I cannot tell you how powerful and how beautiful that Amen song is. Please go listen to it. I actually shared it on my Facebook as well. Because I feel like that's the energy you're bringing to the table of like, hey... It might be tempting to say what I want to say, but instead, amen. You know, glad it went that way because it made me who I am. And um, I'm going to surrender this, okay? Um, and then the universe says, yippity-skippity, good job. <laughs> and, um, oh, by the way, here's a wish fulfilled. Here's something you've been waiting for that you're really, really going to like. And, you know, the universe does reward when you're in alignment. And how do you stay in alignment? By staying in a loving space no matter what and not letting other people get your goat. So you have the card of flowering here and then creativity. Yes, there's definitely going to be an opportunity, all right, during March, uh, maybe even into April to see something grow out of something you've held in your mind or in your heart or like a creative pursuit, right? Um, because look at all of the growth here. Flowering is like opening up to the blessings of the universe and then like getting creative ideas, getting your creative juices flowing and feeling more centered, feeling more grounded, okay? So... Let's see what the Law of Attraction has to say here. We oh, got two cards. The Law of Attraction assembles all cooperative relationships. Oh my gosh, and this one says, should I leave or should I stay? All right, so let me read this one first. So there's this vortex of becoming, a vortex that contains all of the requests, all of the amended requests, each and every detail of each and every asking that has ever emanated from you, and the law of attraction is responding to it. The vortex is literally drawing in all things necessary for the completion of every request it contains. All cooperative components are being summoned and are coming for the completion of these creations, for these answerings of these questions, and for the solutions to your problems. So it's like... As I was stating earlier, there's something in the works, right, that hasn't yet come into fruition here in the 3D, but all of the cooperative components have already been orchestrated for you. And then this one says, should I leave or should I go? It says, it's very empowering to discover that your patterns of thought do not have to follow your current situation and therefore your current situation can change. We do not recommend taking the physical action of leaving without deliberately coming into alignment with the new desire that's been born out of your current situation. And then whether you stay or whether you move on, you can have exactly what you desire either way. So this is my card of align and then. Like I said, there might be some back and forth going on in the psyche tours of like, well, should I go in this direction or should I go in that one? And Spirit is saying... There's no right or wrong. It's just what's going to feel best to you and needing to ask yourself that and then get in alignment and act from that place. I heard act accordingly. <laughs> so Taurus, wow. Interesting reading. Zodiac signs you could be dealing with. I've got Pisces, Aries, Pisces again, Libra. I felt Leo energy is very similar reading Virgo Aquarius. That could be in your chart and Cancer. That could be in your chart or the chart of the person or people that you are dealing with. Take what resonates. Leave what doesn't, though. If it did resonate, please do let me know in the comments down below. And don't forget to give me a like, share, and subscribe if you haven't yet. You can find me on Facebook and Instagram for more fun stuff. As I do go live there as well, Tarot Time with Dana. All of it linked in the description box below as well as in the about section of my YouTube where you can find the donation link. If you'd like to donate, you can do so there. 
Also, if you like this outfit, this is from my sister's online boutique. It's a super cute jumper. Um, you can get it for yourself by clicking on avasofiaco.com located in the description box. Otherwise, I'm wishing you guys the very, very, very best. And until next time, my friends, namaste. Bye.